All right, gang, welcome back to the 2020 CrossFit Games Open tips and advice. Well, 20.2 is a 20 minute AMRAP as many reps as possible in 20 minutes of four dumbbell thrusters, six toes to bar, and 24 double unders. Be sure to go to games.crossfit.com to get the full workout details and the movement standards. All right, gang, let's get into the meat of this workout. First, for some people, there's a glaring dilemma in this workout, and that is the double unders. For a lot of people, they struggle with double unders. So if you're one of those individuals who would love to do this workout RX, but you don't have double unders or a double under is something that you notoriously struggle with. I've done a video where I go and explain how I learned how to do double unders. I have gone ahead and I've put that link to that video below in the description. Go check that out. I think it will help you a lot, give you some understanding of maybe some of the things and rhythm and pacing to help you get more double unders and maximize this workout. And then before we get too much farther into this workout, I also want to point out that there there are two high skill movements in this workout. Between the toes to bar and the double unders, we have two body weight gymnastics style movements. So what I, I highly suggest before you attempt this workout, if you don't have those movements, spend some time practicing them. And I think that you'll, you'll see yourself find a lot more success this weekend than you might feel like right now. So in this workout, we're working for 20 minutes straight. I would just like to ask you, if I told you to go run for 20 minutes, go as far as you can for max distance, would you come out at your PR mile pace? No, come out at a pace that you know you can hold for 20 minutes. It has a, a lot of similarities to the pacing that you see when you do Cindy. So if any of you have done Cindy, look at that workout. That'll give you an idea and an understanding of maybe how many rounds that you can get in this and they'll give you an idea of how to pace this workout. So here's my suggestion to you. Try a few practice rounds. I suggest trying three of them. Something that's challenging, but you think that you could hold for 20 minutes. That should give you a really good idea of the split time per round that you should be targeting for this workout. Let's talk about warm up now. This workout is a little bit more about pacing. So we just wanna be really warm and sweaty. Warm up with so like 10 minutes of aerobic exercise, some sort of cardio, jump on a bike, go for a run for 10 minutes. Then what I highly suggest after that is doing whatever you need to do to have good movement pattern. Make that a big part of your warm up focus. Then for some of you, you can work through those practice rounds. What I will likely do is I will probably do two to three rounds, rest five minutes, do two rounds, rest five minutes, do the workout. So from there, we've started the workout and now we're in it. And first I wanna to talk to the general population because not everyone is going to be able to manage this thrust weight really easily. I know Genesee personally, 35 pounds, that's a fairly heavy thruster. So one of the things that I would cue her on is really driving out of the bottom of her squat with her hips, really popping her hips and ex finding good violent extension to get the dumbbell off of her shoulder. And then once the dumbbell is starting to go overhead, get out from tension as fast as possible. So as soon as that dumbbell gets locked out overhead, flash and bring it back down. Don't sit up here for a long period of time. You're just wasting energy with being under tension and you're tiring yourself out. If you're gonna rest, rest in the front rack. I know it's four reps, but for some people, you might wanna break that up. Like if you need to break up the thrusters, that's totally fine. The whole idea of a 20 minute AMRAP is to continue to move as much as possible throughout the whole time. You choose your breaks. Don't let the workout dictate when you take your breaks. And then we get into the toes to bar. And for those of you who, who struggle with toes to bar, one of the biggest tips that I can give you is stay as long as possible throughout your toes to bar because it's gonna generate the most momentum that you possibly can get. And when you, when you go to pop your feet forward, I want you to think about pressing forward on the bar and getting your head and shoulders as far back behind the, the, the pull-up bar as possible. That shortens the distance from your feet to the bar. I think it'll make those toes a little bit easier. And then something I also want you to be mindful of throughout this workout is managing your grip. This workout, when it comes down to it, for the general population, for the, the, for the masses of, of people, it's gonna come down to your grip and to your fitness level. So manage your grip. If doing six toes to bar unbroken 
early on is gonna fry your grip, especially with doing double unders and moving a jump rope. And that's gonna cause you to have to start breaking them up later in the rounds. I would rather you choose to break early on and be able to speed up your workout at the end than vice versa. But for the competitor, for the elite who are doing this workout, it's all about transitions. You need to find ways to maximize the time in between those, to, to get from one piece to the next as quick as possible. Be smooth during your movement. You don't wanna waste energy but don't spend and waste a lot of time between movements because there are so many transitions. And that leads me, that brings me to my final tip. Find a place to breathe. For some people, that's gonna be on the double unders. For some people, it's gonna be right before the thruster because the thruster may be the hardest part for you. So if the thruster is your hardest part, get back to the thruster as quick as possible, <sighs> breathe right before it, then give all your effort to getting through the thrusters, toes to bar, double under. <sighs> breath before the thruster, go through it again. For most people though, it's gonna be during a transition. Be mindful of how long you're taking during that transition. I mean, like I told you, like there's so many transitions in this workout. One or two seconds per transition is gonna add up. All right, gang, you know the drill. Go have fun, enjoy your community, go crush this workout, and please, if you have a PR set of double unders and you have a video of it, please tag me on Instagram, Cole Sager 35 I love seeing that stuff. All right, guys, we'll see you next week.